Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. It is Atalanta up against Monaco. Got goosebumps just thinking about kickoff time. You've got to control your nerves. Playing in a game like this, it's all about the nerves. Nerves can be your friend, but they can also destroy you. Keep them under control. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. The starting 11 for Atalanta. Andrea Masiello plays with Rafael Toloi in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. Ben Yedder. And he's made headway. This is the team Monaco have selected. In goal for this match, it's Benjamin Lecomte. Cesc Fabregas plays with Alexander Golovin in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And you've got to keep the promising looking ball. Now the shot from that position left a bit to be desired. You've just got to hit the target. Let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy. Freuler, Gomez, Martin Deron. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, his ability on the ball is second to none. Just watch how close he keeps the ball to his feet. He lures defenders in, then quick turn of pace and he's a wonderful chance. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Onyekuru. Cesc Fabregas on the ball. Falcao has it. Must score! Keeper did his job to begin with. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, Derek, still all square, but how? How's the keeper saved that? And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Remo Freuler. And he was in the right place to intercept. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And this is it. The final of the UEFA Champions League. It's where everyone wants to be. Only two sides can accomplish that feat. And Lee, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight. Well, it is. It's the big part here. It will be after the game. But as players, it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away. Opportunity it is. to enough. A clear twitchiness following the high press and a throw coming up. It's with Fabregas. Fabregas. And the defender takes care of business. On the ball, Ruben Aguilar. A real opening now. It's got to be. Splendid save from the keeper. Danger averted. Yeah, he didn't have long to react to that, but you have to praise his reflexes there. Corner kick played in. Throw ins given.
Fode Balo Touré. And whipped into the box. And so it will be a corner. And short it is. Targets to aim at. It comes to nothing. Gelson Martins. And the cross into the middle. Not trying his luck with the header, but too much elevation. there to intercept intelligent threaded pass here and it has a the opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final well if you look at this again what they always say focus on the ball be sure you strike it cleanly he's done just that what a finish let's go back to the goal of the score So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. We've been waiting to find out, now we know, a minimum of three added minutes here. Timothy Castagna, manoeuvring his way forward. Aguilar. Given away. Half time then, and we're sorry for the pause in the proceedings here, Lee, because this has been a thoroughly riveting Champions League final so far. Well, it has. Great game. Sometimes finals...
Always a special day on the calendar. Champions League final day, and it's a privilege to be bringing the game to you. My name's Derek Ray, joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. The atmosphere is building to fever pitch just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Saint Etienne facing Cork City. Good evening. What a pleasure it is to be here with you, Derek, sitting over this magnificent stadium with arguably the best two teams well obviously the best two teams in this competition this year because they're in the final and what a final we've got the pitch looks fantastic the crowd are expecting there's the trophy just sitting there and the players in the top good visualization and execution well that's very smart defending and now they have the ball again well this is the team that saint etienne will go with and this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back. Must score! And straight at the goalkeeper then. Mvila. On the ball, Buanga. It's there for him! And that's easy peasy for the keeper. And in with a real chance. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Well, possession seeded. Oh, a lovely ball. Accurate ball and draws the near post. And they nudge it front. Well, fabulous celebrations. They've got their noses in front, Derek. Can they stay there? Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when it comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. What a finish. One nil then. On the ball, Aholu. Hamuma. Keeping the ball moving. Will he finish? And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort. Used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. And this is it, the final of the UEFA Champions League. It's where everyone wants to be. Only two sides can accomplish that feat. And Lee, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight. Well, it is. It's the big part here. It will be after the game. But as players, it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away. And that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room, but also the coach. Look around your team, see the calm. Can he get them level? And the keeper completely untroubled. Mvila. Huanga. Wabi Kazari. Oh, he's through here. And the alarm bells are ringing. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. Wanga. Well, look at that, St Etienne enjoying the bulk of possession here. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they've produced. Can he put it away? The crossbar comes in the way. Well, Derek, we might... Beautifully disguised ball. He just needs to keep a cool head. Can't miss, surely. 
Super goalkeeping, it was one against one. I really fancied the attacker there to go round him, but it's brilliant goalkeeping in the end. Space on the flank. Will he find the net? Well, on the volley, that's not how he had planned it in his mind. No, he certainly saw the ball going in a different direction than it went in. And it's with Khazri. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Fruitful looking attack. Goes towards that far post. Well, let's see about the cross. Keeper's contribution. And there's the whistle. Half time it is. A radiant Champions League final up to this point, Lee. Well, nervous, cagey, boring. Not so this final. This has been a really entertaining game so far. Looking forward to more of the same in the second half, Derek. Oh, a lovely ball. Accurate ball in towards the near post. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon, and we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Victoria Pilsen up against Ghent.
Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me, the start of the Champions League. Always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey, or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. And it's with Roman Yaremchuk. Good tackle. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. A 4 4 2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, there's four players in midfield, but really only. It's still a. Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, we're going to see this time and time again. The kids will call it techers. I just call it pure genius. What a brilliant, brilliant goal this is. the game then or Gigi Ofoy well back in season 1992-93 the old European Cup as it was became the UEFA Champions League back in your playing days Lee yeah absolutely I can just about remember that far back <laughs> Derek to be honest with you but it, players were a little bit cautious about the new Champions League and how it was going to take shape and the format etc but certainly uh, the European Cup is now a thing of the past and the Champions League has really taken shape gliding through the gears well great read there to intercept must score and he got to it fairly easily Horjava Kermenchik. It's with Kopitz. Tremendous intuition to win it back. De Jagere. Poor attempt at a pass, really. He has plenty of support. And played in. Well, you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. And a throw in it's going to be. On the ball, Igor Plastun. It's with Ojija Ofoe. Ojija Ofoe. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Keeping the ball moving. They've regained possession. Beautifully weighted ball. Dangerous looking attack. Will he find the net? They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, the coaches will tell you, pass the ball how you would like to receive it. Perfectly weighted, and he finished it off brilliantly. It's going their way, 2-0. Asare. David. And passing with a velvet touch. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. A one-on-one -on -one situation and the goalkeeper prevails in the duel. Advantage is always with the attacking player because he's got... And showing fine vision. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means.
It's a short one. And there's the feed into the box. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross and he gets up well and it's just wide. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Well, they did have possession. That is that for the first half here.
What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. South American Continental Cup first group stage game. Two proper teams here, Alan. Yeah, hi Martin. Really looking forward to this. I mean, pre-season has changed so much over the years. You can't get fit out of the limelight in the shadows anymore. Huge events, televised matches, and uh, you've got to hit the ground running. Can put them in front here. But he's missed it, and it's still level. Oh, he can't believe it. Neither can his teammates. And here is the lineup for them today. 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key, because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job, actually, because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So an onus on them. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. That's good passing, probing. Saw the direction of the pass. That's not what he wanted to do, a poor pass. Hernandez. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Here's the chance. Oh, a bit of finishing practice required at the next training session, I think. Yeah, definitely. Back to the drawing board. Read the intentions. Trying to find an opportunity. Made a quick interception. Found good room out here. He's got to score! Very straightforward piece of goalkeeping as he catches the cross. And shoots! No difficulty for the goalkeeper. Being closed down. Made sure the pass wasn't completed.
going to be his throw here. Guevara. Chance to put it in the box from here. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. They've soaked up a lot of danger here, but it hasn't hurt them, and now they're on the ball. Cuts it out nicely. No support really, up with the deliver of the cross. It's a wasted ball into the box. Oh, it's too strong the cross. It's gone over everyone in the middle. 